Hi and welcome to this video. In this one, we're going to talk about Tailwind CSS transitions. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Transitions in Tailwind CSS allow us to smoothly go from one state of an element to another state. To get started, I am going to generate our simple HTML5 boilerplate. I'm going to insert the Tailwind CSS CDN. Let's add a title for our web page and let's save the changes. Let's select the body element and let's apply some classes on it. The first class is going to be for a background color and then I'm going to increase the height to 100 VH. I'm going to convert it to a flex layout because there is going to be one child and I want that to be horizontally in the center using justify center and vertically in the center using item center. For this video, we are going to talk about a button that has a text of transitions. Let's save our changes. Let's apply some basic styles on the button. The first style that I'm going to apply is going to be text for Excel. Text uh, utility classes in Tailwind, they not only provide font size, but they also provide line height. For Excel is going to be 36 pixels of font size and 40 pixels of line height. I'm going to add um, a background color of white, and then we're going to change the color of the text to orange. Let's apply a little bit of padding on the left and right and top and bottom. The corners for the button are going to be rounded and the border is going to be two. For now, I'm going to make the border transparent. Let's add a shadow. And now since we talk about transitions, it's very important to have a state. The state that I'm going to talk about in this video is the hover state, which is actually a pseudo class. So I am going to say hover and using colon, we can select any property that we want to change when we go into that state. The first property that I'm going to change is going to be the background color. Now, there are going to be several properties that I'm going to be changing when I'm in the hover state. So we can work with different values and different utility classes that Tailwind offers us. The second property that I want to change when I'm in the hover state is going to be the text. I want to change it to white. I am going to change the border to white as well. And I am going to tra uh, translate or transform the button uh, along the negative Y axis by eight pixels. Uh, I'm going to increase the scale by 10% and I'm going to enlarge the shadow from NMD to 2XL. And that's basically it for everything that I want to do for this button. So I'm going to save the changes. In Tailwind CSS, we have a class that is called transition none. So if I write it and if I save it, nothing is going to change because it says transition none. We can also transition all of the properties using the transition all class. This is going to Transition all the properties, provide a timing function in the form of a cubic Bezier, and it's going to provide 150 milliseconds of transition duration. Let's save our changes and let's take a look at that. We could also say that I want to apply transition on the most important properties using the transition class. This is going to apply uh, transition on like color, background color, border color, like opacity, box shadow, transform, all of the important uh, classes, uh, the important properties that we have in Tailwind CSS. For example, if I come here for this specific example, there is not going to be any difference between transition all and transition because we are actually applying transition on all of them. Let's go ahead and let's change it to transition colors. This is not going to transition the scale or translate uh, or uh, the shadow. This is just going to transition the colors. So I'm going to save that and we can see the colors are being transitioned, but the scale and the translate, they're happening swiftly. That's why it looks like a little bit quirky. Let's go ahead and let's add transition shadow. This is only going to provide transition for the shadow property, nothing else. So if you take a look at the bottom of this button, let me zoom that in so you can really see that. So bottom of this button, the shadow happens smoothly, but the rest of the properties, they're changing very quickly. Let's apply transition transform. And yes, this is what the name suggests. It only applies transition on the transform properties like translate and scale. Let me save changes and there we go. So the color, the shadow, 
all of them are happening quickly, but the transform, which is the translate and scale, they are being transitioned. When we are transitioning classes or properties, one of the most important features or aspects of a transition is the transition duration. So far, with our current implementation, we don't have any way of changing the transform, uh, the transition duration. But if you want to change that, you can do that with Tailwind as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change our transition from tra transform to simply transition. And if I go ahead and if I add duration 300, this is going to provide 300 milliseconds as opposed to the 150, which was provided by default. Let's save the changes. And there we go. So it takes a little bit, little bit longer to apply. We can also change the uh, easing function from a cubic Bezier to ease and out. And finally, we can apply a delay as well. So if you hover on it, uh, on any element after 200 milliseconds, then the transition is going to apply. Let's save the changes. There we go. So there is a little bit of delay. That is it for this video. See you in the next one.